What's up guys, welcome to part 3 of the full album collection, uh, 2020 edition. Uh, today we're going to be going through, well, today, <laughs> I said this in the last video, um, how I recorded part 1, like 20 minutes prior to part 2. Well, it's only been about 10 minutes prior to part 2 that I'm recording part 3. So, uh, anyway, this time we're going to be going through the F's, the G's, the H's, the I's, the J's, I don't think I have any J's, but we'll find out, uh, the K's and the L's. Uh, and these sound like a lot, there's actually not a lot, it's probably going to be one of the shortest parts, but let's just go ahead, get into it. So first up, we have The Faceless with Akeldama. Next up, we have Fear Factory with the collector's edition of Obsolete, or the collector's digipack, I believe is what it's called. Then we have the collector's digipack of Digimortal, but on its puns. We have the Deluxe Edition of Archetype. Actually, I don't know if it's a Deluxe Edition. I believe, if I remember reading correctly, there were two versions of this album released. One with a behind-the-scenes disc, and then another uh, with, a or with a live DVD. Yeah, because mine's the Australian Tour 2004 DVD. So, still really cool. Then we have the Industrialist, uh, the Deluxe Digibook, with the uh, story written by Burton C. Bell. And then Genexus their most recent album, hopefully not their last one, although they may end up breaking up. Who knows? I hope not, because I really enjoy Fear Factory. I saw them on their tw uh, 20th anniversary Demanufacture tour uh, when Genexus was their newest album. Uh, they played Demanufacture from front to back. It was an awesome show. Next up we have Frost, and I wish I had more uh, the other two albums from these guys, especially Million Town, but Falling Satellites is still a phenomenal disc. Next we have Flyleaf with Memento Marie and New Horizons. Moving on to the G's, we have The Gentle Storm with The Diary, uh, the Ariane Lucas and Annika van Giersbergen collaboration. Um, but two discs, uh, one recorded as like an acoustic folk album, another, or the same album recorded as a metal album on disc two. Very, very good material here. Next we have Garden of Shadows with Oracle Moon. Highly underrated band. Unfortunately, this was their only full length, I believe. Um, I would recommend checking them out if you haven't, though. Next, we have everyone's favorite metal band, and I know I'm saying that sarcastically. I really enjoy them, though. Ghost with Opus Eponymous. The Deluxe Edition of Infestisumam, and I know it's weird saying Deluxe Edition, but it's in a jewel case instead of a digipack. Um, but yeah, they trick they tried to trick me I because I almost bought the digipack thinking it was the deluxe edition but this is actually the deluxe edition the if you have ghost EP Meliora the Pope star EP and then they did the same thing with uh, prequel that they did with um, with Infestisumon. Uh, the deluxe edition is in the jewel case. And this also has the uh, holographic cover on it. Next we have uh, Green Carnation with one of my favorite, like, if there's only a couple bands that can release one song on an album and make it the entire album length of an hour and make it good. This is one of the two examples that I could think of in my collection. Green Carnation, Light of Day, Day of Darkness. Then we have Green Day with 1039 Smooth Out Slappy Hours and the Deluxe Book Edition of 21st Century Breakdown. And I gotta get that back up here. Next we have The Heart Machine with Disclosure. Then we have Him, one of my favorite goth, goth rock, goth metal bands of all time. Uh, these are in slip cases. Each one makes up a piece of the hardogram, but I'll pull each one out. We have Greatest Love Songs, Volume 666. Uh, and they all have bonus discs with uh, remixes and live tracks, too, which is really cool. Uh, Razorblade Romance. Uh, Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights. This also has the bonus tracks of You Are the One and In Love and Lonely. And Love Metal. This one has the bonus track, uh, Love's Requiem. Then we have the Collector's Edition of Dark Light. Uh, this one has the uh, Flashlight, which is in this little bag here. 
uh, the book of handwritten lyrics by Billy Vallo. Uh, of course, the main disc is on the inside here. And then the certificate of authenticity uh, saying, this certificate verifies this is an authentic hymn special edition uh, of the album Dark Light. This edition has been limited to a quantity of 20,000 and will not be produced in any other editions in the future. This is number 9,832 of 2,000, and it is signed by the entire band, which is really cool. And the funny thing is I only paid like 12 bucks for this, when easily it could go for like 80 uh, on Discogs. Not that Discogs is the most reliable way to go, but it tends to be the benchmark. Then we have the deluxe edition of Venus Doom. Uh, has a bonus disc with a couple remixes. Uh, deluxe edition of Screamworks, Love and Theory and Practice. Uh, bonus disc with all the acu er, the original songs performed acoustically uh, by Billy Vallo. And what pains me to say, their final album, Tears on Tape, deluxe edition with a bonus DVD with some live material. Then we have The Human Abstract with Midheaven. Moving on to the eyes, we have Eson with Arctis. This is the deluxe digi book with the uh, with a bonus track, uh, and I believe expanded artwork. I'm not sure. I've never really seen a standard edition of that. This one, uh, my parents, uh, who are currently living in Germany, uh, sent me this. I guess it was a street vendor, um, but they're a Latvian band, I believe. Um, let me see here. Estonian. They are Estonian. Uh, please don't kill me if Illuminium sees this, um, but Illuminium with Underdogs. I actually haven't listened to that either. I really need to, though. My parents sent it to me almost a year ago. Well, not almost a year ago. Next we have In Flames with Lunar Strain. Uh, this also has the Subterranean EP. Horacle. Clayman. Reroute to Remain. Soundtrack to Your Escape. The Deluxe Edition of A Sense of Purpose. Unpopular Opinion, this is a really good album. I don't know why this album gets so much hate, but I love it. This is the first In Flames album I ever heard also. Not my favorite, Horacle's my favorite, but still, I love that album. Uh, the Deluxe Edition of Sounds of a Playground Fading. Deluxe edition of Siren Charms. The deluxe edition of Battles. And the deluxe edition of their 2019 album, I the Mask, which is so much better than the last two. Uh, I don't know where they were trying to go with Siren Charms and Battles, but it was not good. Insert explosion uh, fall, uh, a la Anthony Fantano. Next we have Insomnium, who I don't think has ever put out a bad album, with... Since the Day It All Came Down, One for Sorrow, the Deluxe Edition of Shadows of the Dying Sun, Winter's Gate, uh, the other album like, Green, like uh, Lighter Day, Day of Darkness I was talking about, and their 2019 album, which was my number three album of the year, Heart Like a Grave. Uh, I do have one album by an artist that starts with J, and it's actually an EP. Uh, Jesu, or Yesu, I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. I believe it's Jesu with the Heart Ache EP. Next we have Catatonia with Dance of December Souls. Brave Murder Day. Uh, Discouraged Ones. Tonight's Decision. Last Fair Deal Gone Down, Viva Emptiness, the Brave Yesterdays compilation, which has uh, the Jehovah Lohim Meth EP, uh, a couple tracks from December, Dance of December Souls, uh, War Compilation Volume 1, the For Funerals to Come EP, a couple tracks from Brave Murder Day, uh, the Sounds of Decay EP, and the Saw You Drown EP. The deluxe reissue of The Great Cold Distance. Live Consternation. 
Night is the New Day, Dead End Kings, uh, Dethroned and Uncrowned, which is an acoustic uh, reimagining of Dead End Kings, which I actually prefer this over the actual Dead End Kings album, if that's possible. Um, then we have Sanctitude, which is a live uh, CD DVD set uh, in support of Dethroned and Uncrowned, where they took a lot of their songs performed them acoustically and reimagined. Uh, some, I don't want to say similar to Aurora or uh, Synthesis by Breaking Benjamin and Evanescence, uh, res uh, respectively, but if, if you had to compare them to those, this would definitely be the best. And then their currently most recent album, The Fall of Hearts, and I actually have in a shadow box over there with some other things a signed booklet uh, from the pre-order of this uh, through Newberry Comics, I believe. Um, but it is signed by the band. Uh, they do have a new album coming out this year called City Burials. Um, and Lacquer was such a good song. Interesting choice to choose something so soft for the lead single. But still a great track. Really looking forward to it. Next we have Corn with Issues. Take a look in the mirror, uh, the deluxe edition, the deluxe edition of the Path of Totality, and their 2019 album, The Nothing. Moving on into the L's, we have Lacey Sturm, former singer of Flyleaf, with her solo album, Life Screams. Then we have Lacuna Coil with In a Reverie. Let's see. Then we have Unleashed Memories uh, with the Half Life EP. Coma Lies. Then we have Leaves Eyes with Lovelorn. Uh, Vindland Saga. The Legendland EP. And I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe this one was limited to a thousand copies. This particular cover, anyway. I could be wrong. Then we have the Njord Special Edition, which has Njord itself, and the At Heaven's End EP. And we have the Deluxe Digibook of Myrdead. Symphonies of the Night. And the deluxe edition of King of Kings. Next, we have Legend of the Seagull Men with their debut album, Legend of the Seagull Men. Of course, uh, having Danny Carey of Tool and Brent Hines of Mastodon. Really good band. I, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I actually did. Next, we have Lind Lindemann, I believe I'm pronouncing it right, Lindemann, uh, the singer from Rammstein's side project with Peter Taktgren of Pain with Skills and Pills. And the unexpected, might I add, very unexpected 2019 album, F&M Frau und Mann. Oops, putting these in the wrong order. <laughs> Like, I was surprised Rammstein even released an album last year, was happy, but I was definitely not expecting that on top of it. Next we have Linkin Park, of course, finishing this off with Hybrid Theory, Meteora, the deluxe edition of Minutes to Midnight, Living Things, The Hunting Party, I said that there, and unfortunately the last album before Chester ben Bennington's tragic death, One More Light, which is very underrated. It's like I loved it be before everything happened, but it takes on a whole new meaning after Chester's death. And that's it for this uh, for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you next time.